Hi, this is Rosie at EdTech Teacher. Have you ever created um, a digital activity in Google Slides or Google Drawings and you wish that you had many of the same object? So in other words, you wanted to duplicate um, a selection of objects so that your students had an infinite pile to demonstrate their learning. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that in this Google slide. So I have an open Google slide and you can see we're going to make some money. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is we're going to duplicate this image. So I have this coin here and I'm going to duplicate it. So by selecting the object and using the control D to duplicate, so I'm going to do that, you can see that it makes an infinite pile or many um, duplications of that same activity that same object. But don't make so many that when you go to open that file in Google um, Slides that it's way too big. So now I want to select the group. So to select this collection of duplicate items, I'm going to use this lasso tool and I'm just going to drag them with my mouse and I now have selected that entire group all at one time. So now I'm going to go up to the Arrange menu and I'm going to say Align and I'm going to say Align to the Center. And you can see how now all my objects that are the same um, are one on top of the other. So while the objects are still selected, I'm going to go back to Arrange and back to Align and this time I'm going to select Middle. So now it looks like I only have one object, but it's still really a pile of those same objects. I'm going to make a dollar. So you can see I'm just pulling off additional um, dimes until I would make the desired amount of, um, amount of money. So this is a quick and easy trick. And remember that once that, you, once that pile is selected, you can move it anywhere on your canvas. And you know that in Google um, Slides and Drawing, you can be slightly off the, clan, the camp, canvas so the students can locate the pile. So I hope this was helpful. You can use this with making money. You can use this for patterns and labeling and all sorts of activities that students would normally have to use a two key command of copying and pasting or duplicating each individual item. I hope this helps.